Uh, it's an easier lane and easier to farm against. Yeah. Team Welcome is to Mobile Legends. Thirteen Championship. Welcome to the bout. I can't believe they still opened up the Tigreal though. Yeah. That, yeah. And despite it being a better draft mode of both, I still think the MVP performance on Renegade is just going to carry over. Yeah. Even during the regular season, you have to respect the capabilities of Renegade with this Tigreal. But I also like to uh, commend with the, the lineup of PLPs right now. Again, as the panel mentioned, it's more competitive, especially Sanji's Luyi. And this lineup is actually similar to Game 3 of the previous series. Three heroes from PLPH, right from Omega, and two from Blacklist. Which for 90% of the game, the team that had a Soyo was winning, right? Yes. Up until up until one fateful diversion. Yeah, one fateful diversion that Haji was able to check out. But that's a different game, a different series, a different set of teams. Here we are now, game number two. Quick check on the emblems for the squads. Uh, here you'll see Domingue picks up Benny's signature carry uh, all this while. I don't know if he knows there's more than one here. I think he knows. He's not going to repeat the same uh, instances of what happened during game number one. Oh, Red Jake actually with Sigrid Hammer might fall down easily as Demon Kite works on him. And just like that, Carl Keezy with oh, Demon Kite goes in with a shadow. Oh! But JP manages to stay alive. One more hit. A quad shadow again for Demon Kite just to escape. Oh. And Red Jake uses oh. a flanker, but won't escape Carl Teasy. As Carl Teasy perks and picks up the first kill. Got him. With a queller point blank. And I just I just want to commend what Carl Teasy also did. He blocked. The Astro, the Star Shatter of you win. To protect JP. To protect JP. I got you, Dad. I got you. That's a call. Yes. That's a call. I got you, Dad. So, with that liquid draws first blood, makes a beeline to the turtle. Red and JP, you know, the watch as Carl DZ secures it, locks it down. JP looking for that kick. Still not level four. And this is what you were saying. TLPH, whoever has the Suyo, will indeed dominate the early game. Again, a good catch from uh, coming in from Carl TZ. Set up from Ren and Jay. Can turn things around. That's why the Hitman is so important. You see him for the past four minutes uh, after uh, that engagement uh, in mid, where he died. He's playing the silent guard game, where he's just hiding in bushes, nearby his course, not really engaging, just to protect his army. Now JP gets a kick, forces the purify. Coming in from where the play, but it's not going to be enough though. As Sachi gets the turtle, here comes the attack once again. Liquid Express, they're working on Edward, trying to bring him down. Sachi with a diversion play, but they're not going to continue it because they got what they wanted. Two kills plus the turtle. They call it a liquid stampede in the blue half. Oh, to the red side of the MVL Arena. Oh. Come alive! Cha 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 to bring down Carl. And finally, an answer from Aurora. Demon Kite besting at Carl TZ again. Mortal staining up for the and then inversion play. They're gonna send out Sanford and Sanji to San San Duo to bring down Domang. Late game insurance. Didn't oh, even no. get a chance to use Purify. That was quick. That was fast. At that point, it was useless to use the Purify because you're ganked up and JP. Ready to okay, force to use the Implosion play, but Sanford is here along with Sanji. Carl TZ minutes away from being in the picture. No answer from oh. Aurora. But Demon Kite. DK taking the Pixel Brush. Checked it by 40. Sure. Now, I feel like it will work as five members here work on the third bed. All neutral objectives will be taken down by the Liquid Express. Three for three, the cavalry goes, taking everything on the map. So far, look at the uh, perseverance by Domain. You know, he got beat up there, he got bodied, but look, he's back with the push. Yeah, just another now. day's work. Whoa! We shadow kill the guy, not enough to bring down JP. Sanford used the glorious pathway. Okay, they might go for the purple buff steal here. And he still has his. A flicker, but no explosion yet. They will successfully get the purple buff away from Aurora. And that's Grand Theft Purple secured. Carl DZ, I can see, to get the kill. Now here's the diversion. Diversion onto the middle lane. Quick rotation. They do leave a bunch of minions to push without the seal. Okay, this time they'll be 5 on 5. It's a matter of setup. Good Astral Echo coming in from UA. They know where our Liquid is hiding. They're going to catch Sanford there as well. Tommy just continuing to free hit onto JP. JP has to walk away. Sanford into the middle. Trying to soak up every damage. The first man down is JP in the hands of Demon Kite. Plus a Dormant kill. Working on Carl DZ. Manages to avoid that Star Shatter. But Aurora will get the first Lord. Divide and conquer. Aurora stand their ground and outplay Liquid. They defend their Lord take, and they get away with so much more. That was best that we got. A good Astra Echo coming in from UA as we look at the Infinix Instant Replay. A good catch also from Edward. They have perfect information. Perfect information, perfect micro skills. I like to comment what uh, Legend Zero Edward did there. 
uh, upon entering the frame, JP, he was able to cast this onward, disrupting a potential way of the dragon. That's why Aur Aurora was able to counter attack. And only because, only because there was a five man echo that they were able to defend from the way of the dragon like that. And Renegade, he's showing himself right now. He has the flicker along with the flicker of Android. Yue has a recall, Yue has an echo. He also has his uh, flicker. Now, one crucial astral echo. You can do the job, they're gonna find more and Renegade finds two! With a beautiful flicker implosion play, the pure fights will be popping after no. goes in with the glorious battle. David Kai goes right after Benny Cutie once again, just like game number one. I'm not quite sure who got the Lord, but the attack coming in from Aurora is still there. Called it, called it! Okay, diversion play. Kyle got the Lord. A trade for Benny Cutie. I think that's worth it. For the long haul, yes. But it makes you wonder, how did that engagement go wrong? Benny Cutie put the entropy where it should have, and I'm guessing he just wasn't ready for the first coming in from DK. Yeah, at that point, you as Astral Echo, it's not used for information. It was used for the slow. That's why Renegade was able to flicker in with the implosion. I'd reckon the slow and the hitbox growing. Yeah, the hitbox, agree. It made agree. the four-man, three-man implosion. It was, it was a key. It was a it was impossible two-man implosion. Yeah, because the, they forced to the purify. They caught Betty Cutie. Here comes the diversion again. Okay, they're going to make use of this Lord. JP's trying to zone out the scene. They're going to get one turret down. Alright, Liquid recovers. Getting back their 2k gold lead. DK spots one. Uh, 1v1 between the young goal and the demon kind again. Benny's just not activated. Uh, DK just has it out for him. Okay, so Lord has spawned once again. I'm a left for Dominic. Well, that's the diversion. They're going to send down two. Oh. Okay. Oh. They know Red Chase there. Again, Ashton Echoes is casted. They know where two members of uh, CLPH are. As Aurora can take over for the Lord. Okay, that's the Echo timed out. Lord here, less than half health. They find oh, it! Oh, implosion plus armor combination from Edward and Renegade, but Edward's gonna be first. They not even have time to get the Primal Rather than try to go for a lot of members. What? Betty Cutie will fall down, and Yui gets a kill on oh, Sasagi also. Oh, and it was Doming who went down. And another Lord scored for Liquid, the third in this game. 17 minutes in, about 3k gold ahead. Liquid are about to gallop into the lead. And now Benny Cutie trying to take away the purple buff of Demon Kai. And not rest on their laurels. Rest on their laurels, but I don't think they should rush it either. If this Lord, whether they can score it or not in the next minute and a half, they should enforce it. Great, great. So basically turn down the Express for a while. Try to play the safe. Put it in third gear. Put it in third gear. Third gear. Okay, from sixth gear down to third gear. Again, you have the advantage. But looking at the towers, it's actually even 3-4-3 three, three, down to the kill scoreboard, 9-for-9. Nine nine. Yeah, it's very close. That's what I'm saying. It's still an uphill battle for both of these teams. And at some point, they're going to meet at the top. And unless you're ready to press on that clutch, then don't. All right, wait for it. Have, per have perfect vision, which is why it's so much easier for Aurora to engage. You know what I mean? Because of that. Because yeah. of the astral echo off of you. You, you remember that last Lord fight? They yeah. timed out the Echo, and Sanji and Benny weren't part of the Echo. Yeah, and they put bodies in the team Demon Kite and Benny well, That too. So you see the layers for Liquid to get away with things, for them to win fights? For Aurora, I hate to say that it's so simple. I hate to say that it's all just Astral Echos, Renegade. Then Renegade, yeah. No, not Implode, just Renegade. Just like they're really Renegade. Just Renegade, all right? So if they can get those two things together, Liquid's looking at match point. But oh. if Liquid can time it out again, I hate to condense it to such a basic situation that's such a basic term, but that's why it's 4-0 oh, man in season 14 that's why it's 4-0 oh. that's why it's 4-0 and, oh, and TOPH looking to even out the series to get their here. first win they gotta get their first win again this is the play in so one series loss means it's the end of your journey for S14 but also imagine the momentum shift the boost in morale if Liquid are able to score one over Aurora which they could not have done in the span of two months plus in game number three if ever they extend this uh, they have the advantage of picking a side for game number three since there's a no interaction for Aurora, sorry. Oh, I mean, every even numbered game is for Liquid. For Liquid, yeah. So for game four, yeah. But that's either here or there. Lord here, up already. It's a shuffle. Edward comes in! Like, we're gonna find Sanford, not yet casting the explosion. Sanford, like, oh, will be casting Demon Kite. This is the perfect <laughs> opportunity. Edward, though, okay, the damage. He's gonna fall down in the hands of Sanji. Demon Kite goes in with a weaky shadow kill, but he's not gonna bring down Benny Cutie. Five members of TLPH are still here, and it looks like this is an opening for Liquid. Edward out for about a minute and a half.
a lot of spells, a lot of ults, resources spent to get this one-man advantage. But just the same, you see what I'm talking about, Ian? The fact that all it takes for Rora to be able to lean hard into it is an echo and the implosion from Renegade. Just those two things are able to keep him up. And still fighting! And at this point, Renegade doesn't have his implosion already. He has immortality, though. He has immortality. TOPH working on the Lord Demon Kite. Will he be able to okay, do it? Okay, DK. Okay, DK. It's going to be a retribution battle. Of course, Coffee will get it. Implosion coming in from Renegade. They're going to bring down Chafee. But they bring down Doming as well. Now they're going to work on Demon Kite. Does he have the shadows, though? Push, push, oh, he shadow kill. Look at Wither Travel coming in from Sanji. Demon Kite's going to escape. And this time, JP for a lord, that's hella worth it! Not just JP for a lord, and Doming! And Doming! Lord spawning down in the bottom lane, about to crack that inhibitor wide open. Now Liquid's going to equalize. You see how they're sending so many bodies across the board, they want to turn the map blue. No, Demon Kite has been a killing Carl TZ in terms of 1v1 bouts. But in terms of retribution battles, Carl tz has been winning it, and it looks like this might be the key to even out the series. Dude, Sever's not fair. It's the key, man. It's all about that Sever. Look at Renegade! Look at Renegade! all the way to the back! All the way on the back line. They can go for the enclosure plane. They're going to bring down Edward. Renegade! Still out to the frame. Five seconds before Doming is alive. They're going to work on the crystal, and it's an even ball game! 